Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. You have to wait now for it to four seconds before you can say anything. Otherwise it misses out my intro. Very disconcerting. Um, apologies if I grunt and groan. <laughs> I've had an accident and it's throbbing. Yeah, and it's not throbbing in the right area, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Anyway, so from the great people at Bang the Elephant are absolutely... The word love is a bit strong, but uh, yeah, these are top class guys. <laughs> so this is balloon juice, peach and black tea, sour ale. I've actually drank this at the brewery. Um, we're buying the elephant guys. The, the guy from Abstract Jungle, Simon, who owns a pub in Langley Manor. I can't remember the name of the pub now. No, it's, it's escaped me. But he was the head brewer at Blue Monkey as well, so he's a good lad. Um, five point six percent. This is, and yes, this isn't the proper label. Um, they had issues with the labels being sent to them, so I got it because I'm a beer reviewer and a bit of an impatient bogger. I went up early and got it too early, but I got the bang the elephant glass. Whoa. So, um, like I said, this week it's all about the locals. This week, you know, I absolutely love my local breweries, every single one of them. Do what I if I can do a little bit to help them in whatever way. See, I'm not here for the money, I'm here for the love of beer, and uh, that's where the raggy is. And uh, I know maybe some people haven't, but uh, a lot of us have got that love of the beer. It's just about you know, we want to drink good beer, we're not here to get it, you know, we're here to enjoy it, and uh. If it's good beer, shout it from the bloody rooftops. That's what you should do, shouldn't you? So, um, for the beer, um, depends where you look on the camera. It looks light amber there, but it looks quite, it's like hazy golden here. Hazy, hazy amber, hazy golden. So, light is the key factor here, you know, depends where you are. A centimetre and a half of head. Oh, dear. I fell through a grate at work. I, I've sprained it, but I haven't broke it. So it's it's in agony. So my foot, that is. And thank God there wasn't loads of piss and shit down that grate because I would have cried. Stinking the piss and shit. And I was I got out of the grate and I'm like this, clenching my teeth. I'm like, oh, God. No. And I, that was some pain. It's painful now, to be fair. I walked down the shed. It took me, it took me 10 minutes to walk from the house to the shed. It's only 30 yards. So that tells you something. So anyway, lovely Paul, bang the elephant. Like I say, do love these guys. Not in a non, not in a gay way, obviously. You know. Although, no offence to anybody out there who's homosexual. It's, you know, we all have a preference in life. It is what it is. But yeah, great guys. You know, they hosted, and this is this is um, for me. They hosted an event, a mega brew event. Fly. They hosted a mega brew. You don't get beer reviews like this, do you? You know, hey, everyone else is doing it all prim and proper. I'm <laughs> different. They hosted the mega brew event with so many local nano breweries. You know, all lads trying to make a bit of a bit bit of a um, an opening into the beer world, and I respect that. As as a YouTube beer review, I'm trying to do the same thing. You know, get into the wider world, trying to bring. Bring a good style of beer reviews into the world. Maybe not the most accurate. Fair play. I don't care. But certainly something with personality. Certainly something that doesn't tell lies. And keeps it real. Probably a good personality as well. Sense of humour. Yeah. Sense of humour. Doesn't mind taking the piss out of himself. My fucking leg. <clears throat> and uh, pardon my friend. Just apologise. Yes, you didn't say that. You didn't tell me swear. It's hurting. <laughs> not joking. And yeah, I do feel rough. Um, I'll be alright by Friday. Yeah. Hopefully. Oh, I'm going to be shuffling around. I'll be, I'll, I'll be called the shuffler. We used to have somebody on there recently called shuffler. Yeah. I used to go in the men's store. It's a hell of a lot as well. It's a shuffling. Yeah. But anyway, <clears throat> let's not go down that road. Um, but yeah. So, so the second Raggy collab. So, Golden Ale. Raggy's Golden Ale there behind me was the first ever 
commercial raggy collab. And that in itself is an amazing thing for any fan of beer, for any beer reviewer. It's an absolutely amazing thing. And then to do another one from Bang the Elephant. Try and rat off all the breweries. So in attendance that day, Bang the Elephant, Abstract Jungle, Lazy Bay Brewery, Linear Brewing Company, Reckless Dream, Snenton Cider Company, Urban Chicken Ale. <gasps> Did I get everyone? Alter Ego. Um, Linear. Fire Rock Company. Brewing Company. Eastern Up. Vince Lee. He's an enigma on his own. The beer icon. God, how much beer does that bloke put down him? Hey, he's about the same size as me and he can drink forever. Yeah, I'm so jealous. I am absolutely jealous. One will come to four to two. I couldn't do it. Uh, but fair play nonetheless. I'd love to. <laughs> Trying all that new beers. As jealous as you can get. But he's a great guy as well. Proper the, the beer icon of Nottingham. I might be a beer reviewer. He's the beer icon. Uh, I certainly look up to him. Um, um, pray tell I haven't left anybody out. Linear Brewing Company, I did say them. Yeah, fantastic breweries, nonetheless. And also, camera were in, were in attendance. Mr. Andy Sales. And uh, my um opinions toward camera because of yesterday working down there has changed something a lot andy cheers mate you've learnt me there's a different side to camera that a lot of people know a lot of people think there's a certain thing about camera i have learnt differently and i understand and that is learning you know it's all about learning isn't it if you don't know then you assume and assumptions is the mother of all mistakes. <laughs> I didn't swear that time. <clears throat> but anyway, the lovely looking poor bang the elephant. Oh, Lumiere. If you ever, ever see Lumiere, bang the elephant, Google the bugger. If you see it in the can, Adventure Beer Company have got 10 cans. I went on earlier. Don't buy all of them, for God's sake, because I want a can. I want to re-review it. But if you see Lumiere, I know that if you don't live in the Nottingham, Lincoln, Leicester, Derbyshire areas, you're going to pay. But it is the best beer you're going to sample this year. I'll put my review head on and say it's one of the best beers ever that I've tasted. Okay. Right, we'll move on now. Anyway. Peach. Oh, and my wife got peach as well straight away. What is it? What is the flavours? Peach and black tea. Right, I forgot. Peach. Ah, right, let's dive in. Whoa. Sour element, you really do get the sour element. You get a bit of tannins from the tea element. I can't come down the shed tonight, so I've had to do two on the road. So I'll go up the ass, I might get a bollocking off the line. I just said, I can't, I can't walk down twice. I can't actually walk. Tomorrow when I go to work. Tomorrow when I go to work. I've got to turn the chuff in. I do apologise for the noise. It's Adam. Blame Adam. Mr. Mersey Beers. He's, he's commenting on some of <clears throat> Sorry, Adam. This is, this is like a classic raggy review where I just go off on multiple tangents. And these are the reviews that I love because I just go from one thing to another and forget what I was talking about and then just carry on. And this is it. This is this is what made my channel i think i think that i'm very different from everybody else and um one because i forget what i'm talking about that's beer and age I suppose. Yeah, fuck off. and to a swear do apologize and free yeah i'm just uh, just a bit different yeah and i'm the different i'm as different in real life as, as you call me especially when i've had a drink and i'm i'm we're we're Especially once we've had a drink and we've all been, you know, we've got used to each other's. And this is something that, why did I, 
fucking fall down that great. Friday, beer festival, Saturday tap rooms. You fall down the great. God knows what I'm going to wake up to in the morning. I pray to God I can move my flipping leg. I'll do it. I, I don't, I'll never ever lose. I, I'll always win in the end. And, uh, yeah, hopefully. So, tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be all right. <laughs> hopefully. But, yeah, looking forward to this week. Looking forward to going down the beer festival in front of people. Drinking Shazbot. Shazbot Nano. The second Raggy collab. Yes, I'll put my hand to my heart and say I did about three minutes work. I pick up, I did some bloody green ops and I got bored and I'll like, get me back on the Lumiere and uh, hold my hand up. But um, I was there in attendance, so you know. And the wife made a lovely cake. And uh, you know, the bang the elephant guys, Michael, Nigel, you know, and uh, you, you know what I've said to you in the past in private and that. I was so proud that you got to Nottingham Craft Beer Festival fully, fully. Um, it should have happened. It should have happened earlier. And um, I will be petitioning for more people to get there next year because as much as it's nice to have the big people there, it's nice to have the locals there. I'm about locals. Good local craft beers. If it's a craft beer festival, get them locals at the craft beer festival. We will be petitioning. Hopefully, I'm not the only Nottingham person who will be petitioning, you know, uh, and other beer drinkers, you know. It's a great beer festival. Neon Raptor's there. There's a heart of it. And Neon Raptor, it probably was what, what started the big craft beer generation in Nottingham. So, to be at the heart of it is resonates quite strongly with me. Um, I've learned a lot about Neon Raptor. I had a good man, Craft Beer Basic, Dave. He actually works there, so that's that's great and uh, top class lad and all. Uh, help me out! I nearly sounded like him for a second, but yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been a, it's been a vintage raggy tonight. It's been slightly different, and uh, my legs not hurting as much at the moment. I think the beer's working a bit actually. I've got to walk back up the house in a minute, so I'll be I'll be in tears, and I will be in real tears when I'm walking. I'm just glad I didn't get piss and shit up my leg. If, I, if I'd have dropped down the fucking um, grate and got piss and shit up my leg as well, I'd have been really angry. And I do apologise to Bang the Elephant. Um, this has been a bit of a an off-key review. There will be a one-minute super review, which is more the review if you ever want a link to review that's a real review. Uh, the quick, which, the short review, which is a, a true, um, you know, non-swearing tangent sort of review but yeah lovely beer am i different from the rest always was always will be never the same as anybody else and we're all good for that aren't we everyone's glad that we're all very different we don't all want to be clones who wants to be a clone yeah speak up for the speak up for good beer that's where to go Wah. so um Hazy, orangey ish pour, depending on which way your camera's looking at it. White head, big peach aroma with the sour in the aroma as well. Peach on the taste. Um, the tea element comes through in like a tannin taste to it. Um, lovely sour. The ABV is, oh, it's still some more in. Jesus, mother of God. Oh my god, oh, 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 do you know, oh my god, hey baby, no I'm not drunk, but hey baby, look at that, oh, it's a sign of beauty, um, you know, as a gardener, I know how good I am. It's not being big headed. And apart from using the mower and didn't realise the mower was on cut. <coughs> the belt wasn't even on. <coughs> Grass won't grow in as well either, but there you go. But Benjamin will pick me up on that. Yeah, I know you do, I know you will. I know. But um as a gardener, I know that I'm one of the best in the country. Don't get the recognition some of these idiots on telly get. 
but I have won East Midlands, Britain in Bloom, European in Bloom, much more than a lot of these people on the telly have won with their academy and their degrees. Yes, I didn't go the degree route because I couldn't afford to. I went the real route. I went the route of um, being the best, working with the best, learning from them, advancing, and still doing it today. Hey, yes. And to me, these guys, you watch them in the future. Yeah. They're only small now, but when they move to moon, new premises, probably sometime in the future, get their own tap room, they're going to be big. They're going to be Neon Raptor, and probably then some. Trust me, both good guys. Can't wait for them to go full time because their commitment to delivering decent beer is what it's all about. And there you've had it. And now I'm not drunk. But I truly mean what I say. And I'm sure if Vince Lee ever watches these beer reviews as well, he will be in total agreement with what I say. Buying the elephant, they're going to be down the beer festival. If you come into the beer festival, check out their beers. There's a few beers of theirs I've not even had before. So I'm excited for that. And Shazbot Nano Nano, the second Raggy collab. And for a beer reviewer to be involved in the collab, it's a special moment, isn't it? And to actually be there, not virtual, be there. There's a difference, isn't there? You know what I mean? Second collab, the first was Raggy's Gold Nail. Second was Shazbot Nano. Where will it go from there? Pray, I pray that it will go further. I'd love but, you know, it's a dream. Something like an Emperor's Brewery. Because he is the king of flipping beers, isn't he? Emperor's Brewery. Bang the elephant. And a raggy collab. Could you imagine that? Hey, Maybe when the channel gets to some silly subscribers. Maybe. Or maybe not. You know then. But yeah. So, Hazy Golden Pool. Wow, I've talked for long. Bollocking off the wife. Um, hazy Golden Amber Pool. Whitehead Peach on the nose. Definitely get the tannins and the peach on the taste, the tannins from the tea element, and a really nice sour. The ABV is 5.6%, banging 4.4 out of 5. Beautiful beer. And that's it for this review. Thank you all for watching. And uh, yeah, it's been a different review. But I think it's been more of a raggy review than, than anything else. And we, we need a bit of raggy nannigan, didn't we? Something different. Uh, different from the normal. Right, I've got to come back with a quick review, but uh, can fly. You'll see that tomorrow. Cheers, all. And I do apologise about, apologise about the.